Have you ever been over to England to see the uh, uh, Stonehenge? No, it's one of my dream vacations is to go to, to England and yeah. London and all those nice fun places. I've been there. Um, and it was impressive. It really wasn't as big as I thought it was. You know, but yeah, but the location is very strange. Yeah. Yeah. You got to kind of hike to it a little bit, you know, but yeah, but yeah, that's very cool though. But, uh, today we're going to be talking about, uh, the American Stonehenge and that is the, uh, the Georgia Guidestones, uh, which is, uh, located in, uh, Elbert County, uh, in Georgia. Um, but it's, it's the, the creation of these things were very enigmatic very strange. Um, they were erected in 1980. Um, and then, uh, but in 1979, a guy who was using the pseudonym, uh, Robert C. Christian commissioned them mm -hmm. to be made by the Elberton, uh, excuse me, Elberton Granite Finishing Company. And he said it was on behalf of a small group of loyal Americans. Yeah. Interesting way to put it. And he, and they, they wished to remain anonymous. <laughs> Very strange. And he explained that the stones would um, serve as a, a, a compass, a calendar, and a clock. And they should be capable of withstanding uh, uh, catastrophic events like earthquakes and uh, hurricanes or, or tornadoes and that kind of thing, you know. So, um, But so that's just for you guys who may not know what the Georgia, Georgia Guidestones are. Uh, you can look up a lot of stuff about it uh, on your own and we'll let you do that. But it, with the time constraint today, uh, I, I, I don't want to get more into the history of the thing, but right. um, we are going to get into a little bit, uh, a little bit of it anyway. So what do you got, man? Well, you know, first of all, the guide stones uh, for those who don't know are engraved with 10, uh, I guess, commandments, would you call them? Yeah. Um, in eight different languages, English, Spanish, Swahili, Hindi, Hebrew, Arabic, Chinese, and Russian. Right. Okay, so right off the bat, that's kind of strange. And it also has four shorter inscriptions uh, in, uh, excuse me, shorter inscriptions in four languages. Um, like ancient, ancient languages. Ancient, right? yeah. Um, okay, the other thing about it is the stones are five stones with one stone on top. Now, those stones are also... also astronomically aligned meaning that they mean something if you can see there how they're all set together now they're all and i'm not going to go through there's each one has certain aspects and certain planets and everything else but there's that and there's like slots in it that indicate the annual travel of the sun and there's a a special part that opens up a little beam that comes down at noon i mean all these kind of strange things that have to do with uh, planetary alignments and things mm -hmm. like that on mm -hmm. it but the main thing is that it has these four demands or goals, I guess maybe even we can call them, of how to depopulate and control the world. Yeah, yeah. Um, before we get into that, I want to show something else here. There's another stone uh, slab that is like lying on the ground about like six, ten feet. A dedication stone. Yeah, kind of a dedication. Thing. And, it, and it kind of explains... Uh, you can't really see right here what it is, but it kind of explains what the purpose is of, of, the, of, the, of the whole thing. Um, and then I'm going to show you something else here. Uh, There's kind of a close up here. And it just basically tells, you know, who, uh, who, who created it, you know, and why it was created. And it's also a time capsule, of, evidently. Right, but they don't have an open date on it, mm -hmm. which I think is very, very strange. Right. It just says to be opened on and then nothing. You know, that's weird, you know, it's a secret date somewhere. No, uh, the, one of the things they want to do is they want to basically bring people down to 500,000 people. Well, yeah. And, they, and that's the first commandment. And it, it says, maintain humanity under 500, no, no, it's 500 million, me, million. 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. And being as that's the first one, that's kind of an on, ominous statement. Right, that's taking off uh, like most of the world. Right, we've got 7.5 billion people on the planet. You know, I mean, so how are they going to eliminate these people? You know? That's just it. Right, and so, and, and, and you know, I'm, we're not, we're not going to get political here. You know, we try to avoid that as much as possible. <clears throat> but, you know, we're, right now we're going through, a, uh, in America, we're going through a government shutdown. 
And a lot of people are going to be starving because of this. This and is what kind of brought up the idea of redoing the show. Because we had done this once before on Pop Views. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it was, I found it very interesting. But is this shut down part of the New World Order? Is, is that what we're saying? If they let this go much further, we're going to have people homeless because the Section 8 housing is only funded till the end of the month. Mm-hmm. So that means there's going to be thousands, if not millions of people homeless. Right, as of March 1st. I mean, um, I mean, we're looking about, about a month away. WIC is possibly going to be shut mm-hmm. down if it's not, not come cut soon. They're already cutting down on um, food stamps, I heard, were possibly going. Right, SNAP's out. Yep. So, yeah. so, and that's just the thing. I mean, hungry people tend to get a little testy, you know? I mean, and so when you're dealing with a populace this size, I mean, you're talking about millions of people that are going to be homeless and hungry. Um, I, I, I'm and seeing, dying from no medication. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing rioting and a lot of rioting. And, and so is this going to be a catalyst then for the new world order to finally gain complete control? Well, people can't afford to eat, can't afford the house themselves. And a big one, can't afford their medication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's a possibility of being shut down too right now. They're saying that all the medical... Yeah, stuff can be shut down at any time. Like like the med- Medicaid or Medicaid. Right. So if those things happen, that's going to be depopulation. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not so, just one or two people. I mean, people are already dying. How many times do you hear a story, so-and-so died because they couldn't get their insula- insula- insulin? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. But, uh, and and that's just it. And I wonder if, you know, if in a, in a, in a state of panic like that, if... You know, some organization, some guy is going to swoop in and say, well, we'll take care of you. We'll house you in like a FEMA camp and we'll give you food as long as you work for us for nothing. You know, and so you've got the slave labor and those who refuse to work or those who can't work will be eliminated. One way or another, either you'll be left to die or it, it... It has to come to something. It's going to be coming to a head here soon. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I realize it's a real tinfoil hat kind of uh, topic, but I, I don't know, man. I can, I can, I can see this happening pretty easily. You know, well, well maybe not easily, but it, it, it could happen. I think. Well, it has happened. Hitler did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He depopulated many people mm-hmm, mm-hmm. for a cause, his cause. Well, and and then there's, you know, the the second uh, commandment on it is uh, uh, guide reproduction wisely, uh, improving fitness and diversity. Making super people. Yeah. Yeah. Again, eugenics, like just like just like uh, World War Two, Germany, Hitler. Well, think about it, too. If people can't get food, all these businesses are going to go out of out of business also Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's going to lead to being back to growing your own vegetables eating your own crops and stuff like that if it goes that far yeah of course now in many states it's even illegal to do yeah um well i think that that's what they would end up doing actually is they would have uh uh, they they would convert a lot of the land to uh uh uh, agriculture Mm -hmm. you know whether that's Livestock agriculture or not is going to be a different story. I, th- I think it would be more sustainable uh, to put everybody on a plant-based diet. Yes. You know, you know, and uh, I, I was just watching something last night. I like actually. my steak. Yeah. <laughs> I was just watching something last night. It was called uh, on Netflix. It was called Cows- Cow- Cowspiracy. And it was about how, you know, everybody's talking about CO2 emissions with, with the global warming and all that. And they were saying really – the majority of the problem is actually the cattle industry, right? You know, because it takes so much water and, and, and and the methane gas. Yeah. And so, so I think, you know, with that in mind, I I think it would be better, you know, if they were going to do something like this, they would be better off. Uh, not that I'm ab- ab- advocating, you know, veganism or anything like right, that. We're not advocating but, killing all the people either. Right, right. You know, but but the fact of the matter is that a, a plant based diet would be more sustainable. Right. You know, right. most definitely. You know, and and uh, infinitely cheaper. You know, than the amount of water and grain it would take to feed these cattle. You know, so. Um, okay, number three is unite humanity with a living new language. Yeah. What do you think that means? I, I think that means that you know, like a world language. Everybody speaks English, everybody speaks Spanish, everybody speaks mm. one language. Mm. Mm. 
And English is one of the most pro- pre- prevalent uh, languages in the world, right? Mm-hmm, I mean, mm-hmm. so... Yeah, pretty kind of, much everybody speaks English right. to some extent. So I think that's becoming almost like the language. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That or it's going to be a Latin language too because a lot of, a lot of people can talk in different languages that Latin are Latin based. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. one of those could easily take over. Yeah, too. I, I think the more likely though would be English because I mean, English is taught in every country, you know, and, and it's almost like a second language to, to other people. So, you know, in fact, I was reading something recently that Americans are the only, the U S is the only country in the world that bucks the idea of having a second language. Everybody else does well, it. Well, you know, when, you, when I was younger, they at least they made you take a second language. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now it's now it's completely anymore. elective. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I remember taking Spanish and uh, German. I took know? Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which is not that hard as as much as you would think living in Southern California. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, number four is rule, passion, faith tradition and all things with tempered reason. I, I, I don't know, man. I tend to agree with that. You know, I mean, there are too many radicals out there, you know, I mean, that's, and that's, that's a reason for that. I think, you know, yeah, but are they trying to rule it though? I mean, do they want to take control over faith? Maybe that's what like somebody project, needs to do. So, you know, <laughs> project blue Beam. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Maybe that's what somebody needs to do. Somebody needs to go to that extreme and actually take this in, in hand to stop all these, you know, ridiculous holy wars and things, you know, I mean, it's just, it's, 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 it's getting crazy, man. Yeah, look, and, if you guys haven't seen our show or look into <laughs> uh, project blue beam, cause it's all about the uh, um, government putting on a fake invasion from Mars or any other planet space invasion as well as the second coming and the second coming. Yeah. Yeah. So that it's a really interesting th- thought about how, totally mind control and but it, but it, but, but it completely makes sense because what they're saying that project blue beam will do is that they will have this uh projected image um like a like a like a a hologram of jesus buddha muhammad krishna and they will all merge into one right so maybe that's exactly what they're saying here you know but uh, and and they're trying to and what they would try to do is convince everybody you've got it wrong. You're, you need to stop fighting with each other. You know, all gods are as one God, you know? Right. So, uh, number five is protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts. Mm-hmm. Um, I have to agree with that when everybody should be treated equal and fairly. Well, isn't that what the UN is tr- tries to do? Basically. They try. Yeah. They don't they often succeed, but, you know. Well, no. Was, you know, you think about, you know, women's rights here compared to women's rights right. in other countries. Mm-hmm. You know, that alone just says, no, not everybody's been... Destroyed. But see, then again, you would have to have uh, one ruling court to be able to say, you know, uh, for instance, the hell with your Sharia law. This, you can't treat people like that. Right. It's a human you know? being. Right. 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 Okay. So we all kind of agree with that one. Number six, let all nations rule internally, resolving extra external disputes in a world court. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Basically the UN too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th- I think this basically kind of uh, almost almost a, uh, a repeating of the uh, previous commandment. But, uh, um, avoid petty laws and useless officials. Here, here, I agree with that, <laughs> you know. And there's there's so much useless dead weight in the government right now, and I hate I'm to sound. I'm not going to mention any names. I I, well, I hate to sound like a libertarian, but I think that there there are way too many public officials out there that that don't need. They're, they're useless. They're completely inept. You know, I mean, we need to put a, a age limit and a t- uh, a period of uh, term, put limits on them. On Congress, most certainly. Oh, absolutely. I totally agree. I totally agree. So, you know, except for this getting the world population down, some of this stuff doesn't sound bad. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. I can understand why they would have to get the population down to achieve that. They couldn't control. Think about how many billions of people there are on this world and trying to control them all. Right, right. They're doing a pretty good job. Right. And again, we're not advocating this. We're, no. but, but, I mean, if, if you think about this logically, it would have to happen. Most definitely. Uh, balance personal rights and social duties makes mm-hmm. sense. Uh, number nine is prize, truth, beauty, love, seeking harmony with the infinite, 
Yeah. Okay. Under the duress of a gun, though. You know, I, that's that. That's the part that kind of like puts me off. <laughs> you know? Well, I don't know. It doesn't say anything about guns. But... No, no. But 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 the rest of it is. I mean, there. Everybody's going to be under the thumb of the of the new world order. You know. But then, tr- prize, truth, beauty, love, seeking harmony with the infinite. That seems like a. I don't know. Uh, what do we, not, uh, Jonestown type yeah, following. Type very thing. much so. Very much so. Yeah. I, I have to agree. <laughs> yeah. The last one I can't agree with more. Be not a cancer on the earth. Leave room for nature. Leave room for nature. They put it twice because it's very, very important. Right, and I, yeah, I agree. I and, think that is important. But you know, I don't, I don't think we should be a cancer on the earth right now. You know, but we are. Right, and I don't even mean as people. I mean as things like cutting down all the rainforests when we could be using hemp mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. doing it. You know, greed has taken over protecting our planet, mm-hmm, and. Mm-hmm. That needs to stop. Yeah. So I have to agree with that. I was just having a conversation on Facebook with a couple of friends of mine and uh, just yesterday, and, and we were kind of going over that whole thing about greed and how greed is, you know, it's kind of inherent in human nature. And we were talking, you know, and, and I had mentioned, I said, well, you know, it'd be nice to think of uh, the world as, a, you know, a utopia, but it's not. And I don't think that it ever will be. And, you know, call me a cynic, but I, I, I think I understand human nature and human nature. You know. And then another friend said, well, you know, there are small communities out there that are trying to, you know, get rid of that greed factor. And yeah, there are. But I have to say, Melanie, um, when you're dealing with a larger uh, populace, I don't know that you can. I don't know that you can get rid of greed, especially when we live in a capitalistic society and everybody bucks against uh, socialism. Well, you know? not only that, I think it has to do with, too, there's a difference between greed and just trying to survive. Mm-hmm. At this point, we're, you know, it's taking two, both parents to work to barely survive, if mm-hmm. not not survive, mm-hmm. when they're working two or three jobs, it is not greed at that point. It's survival. Mm-hmm. It's survival. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I think. That's what they're doing is they're turning us on each other. But see, and there's the problem. Therein lies the problem. And and this I think has something to do with the new world order, and that is that, you know, it it, it takes two parents to raise a household anymore, and they still can't do it. And so these people are oftentimes they're they're still even with two jobs, they're still reliant upon a uh, uh, snap. They're still it's reliant upon the government to 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 help them out you know i mean for for the for the essentials like food and that kind of thing and at the same time the government is incentivizing uh uh, companies like walmart you know with 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 tax incentives and then walmart mart does not pay their employees a livable wage you see so it's this vicious cycle you know, and, and, and yeah, I don't know, man. I, 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 I can well, see where that, that's part of the whole new world order thing. I totally agree. I mean, they're, they're, they're taking control of everything we do, mm-hmm. everything we eat. We don't have choices in even what we hear and see. I mean, we all know that there's so much news out there that we don't even know where it's coming from. And we don't even know the truth behind a lot of yeah. this news. Because there's no reasonable source. Even when you do things like you and I, when, when you really kind of like research something, right. even then you can't get to the bottom of it. Right. There's always another rabbit hole with another question of, is this true or is it not? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So another interesting thing that happened on the Guidestones and back in uh, August of 2016 was a cube was found in it. Now there's a little section and you can see the cube up there. That section was blank. It's always been there and always been blank. Well, all of a sudden, this cube shows up. No one knows who put it there or why it showed up, and it actually slid right out. And I don't know if actually I don't know if they had to pry it out or whatever, but it came out in one big whole chunk, and it had the letters or and numbers twenty, fourteen, eight, sixteen, M M and Jam written on it. Now, nobody knows what this was doing there, what it means, and the actual keeper of the people who are, uh, which is the county, is in control of the uh, upkeep of the um, monument. Mm-hmm. They came in and pulled it out and destroyed it. 
and then there's videos of people, people having chunks of this thing. Mm -hmm. But nobody knows what it ha happened and what it means. Why did so they destroy it? I don't know. I would think they would keep it and put it in their museum or, or something. something or, you know? Oh, yeah. Because it doesn't, you know, let's take a look at it again. It doesn't look like it's something that was like slapped together by anybody. No, I mean, no, it that's looks like it was the concrete that's been professionally made. Right. You know? So it looks like, like a, they would uh, carve a gravestone with or something like that. So somebody has some tools and some time to do that. You had mentioned that uh, the, um, the Elberton Granite Finishing Company, uh, 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 took over one of the Masonic lodges there after, after this thing had been built. Let me show you the cornerstone here. Actually, that's the building where this thing was built. And the Masonic lodge took them over. Oh, I see. I see. I understand. So, okay. So, yeah, yeah kind of strange. I mean, you know, with all the uh, conspiracy theories behind the Masons, you know. I, I thought it was interesting. You know, who knows? Maybe that's who, built, who made that stupid little cube, too. Because, I mean, they made the monument. Yeah, they would have been. to know exactly how it would fit in and everything else. And yeah, yeah. Because it fit perfectly in the slot. Yeah, I was yeah. for something. To I, I, I wonder what I, I really wonder what the the numbers mean. You know, you and know and, and the letters just, for that. If someone uh, is just effing with us, you know, well, it very well could be. You know, but it seems combinations though. I mean, it seems like a lot of effort to go just to screw with people. Right. You know, well, especially since it was put on August 16th, so 816 is on there. But it also, if you look at it, it could be 2014, 2016. Right, right. You know, hmm. so, and jam, what would that mean? And MM, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, very okay. strange. Very strange. We've done a lot of shows on stuff that basically involves uh, belief in the New World Order. You know, we did the Project Blue Beam. Hmm. Um, we also did the... Uh, Denver Airport one. Oh, right, right. You know, that had about the murals and the New World Order murals in the hallways. That horse everything. creeps me out, man. <sighs> the horse. <laughs> Blue, like, Blucifer? Is that what they call it? Blucifer? Blucifer, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The whole idea that there's underground tunnels and yeah. a whole underground, uh, possibly the headquarters for the New World Order under there. You know, uh, chemtrails taking control of us mm -hmm. and spraying either dumb powder or, you know, something on us. Mm hmm. So DARPA, DARPA, yep, DARPA is definitely one of them. And you know they have ways. I was, when I was looking through this, there's a microwave audio effect that they have that they can do with um, microwaves, where they can make you hear clicks inside your head and distort sounds inside your head and make it continuous and drive you insane by it. Hmm. And this was proven in the 60s. They did experiments and actually drove somebody insane using really? this method of microwaves. Hmm. So if they could do that back in the 60s, imagine what they can do with stuff like you know, DARPA and the, and right. the chemtrails. And well, and we were just talking about that, actually, on the, the episode where we were talking about the Project Blue Beam. They were saying that, uh, you know, because the Project Blue Beam was, would be a four-step process. And one of the steps would be to have your... Uh, uh, cellular device or you know if you if it were your tablet or your phone or something like that um transmit waves into your brain uh like that god. would sound like your god speaking to you right and that's been you proven know? they can do stuff like that mm -hmm. now yeah. you know back in the 60s it's this was one that i definitely would be a big tinfoil hat person on myself that I, I believe that this is a possibility mm -hmm. oh i, I, I mean, absolutely it, a possibility i think why not wouldn't if you were up in the higher powers of government, wouldn't you want to try to control the craziness that's going on? Yeah. I don't know if this is the way to do it. Yeah, I don't know. If they, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I, but, I mean, you know, we can adjust our tinfoil hats all we want. The fact of the matter is, is, it, is that, I mean, I've even seen some of these prison camps. Uh, there's one off of the I-10 freeway in, I think it was in Texas, um, just as you're getting into Texas. And this place, it's completely uh, uh, vacant, but it's a full scale prison. I mean, it's, and you can obviously see it right there, but you know, no, an nobody ever, thing, I'm sure. yeah, it looks new, like, like it's being maintained, but nobody's there. And, and why don't people question this? Right. Yeah. I don't, I don't get that. Man. Well, there's, you know, you can go to the, there's conspiracy theories of 
so many things that tie into the New World Order um, about them trying to even uh, manipulate us by uh, killing us with AIDS. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, do, do, do a compilation. In fact, there was the uh, Malaysia uh, flight. I don't remember the flight number, but down back in 2014, it disappeared over the UK. And oh, right, going right, down. right. The Malaysia there, flight. Right. There were seven scientists. Uh, they were um, experts on AIDS. And they were going to a conference to make a big announcement. And there's theory that the announcement they were making was that they found that this was man-made and really? put into the society. And that's why that flight went down and killed all seven of them. Could very well be. Yep. Yep. You know, so you, ne- you never know what everything, how everything ties together. You don't know. What blows my mind, man, is when people think that <laughs> they believe the good government bullshit. You know, and, and, and they believe that the government is here to help. There is some cases that I feel they are. Maybe. But, but, I, but, I, think, but, I, think, but I think, I mean, there, there are so many proven historical events where that has not been the case. I mean, look, look at uh, Project Northwoods for right. a great example of that. The, the, the government isn't necessarily on anybody's side. They're not, they're not here because they have any compassion for, for, for us. They have compassion for themselves. You know, and again, it goes back to that greed and power problem. You know, well, that's what New World Order is all about. Mm-hmm. They want control for the for their own greed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They want the power, and they try to justify it. From what I understand, they try to justify it uh, by saying that you know we can't sustain ourselves the way we're going, and they're probably right. You know, but this is not again. This is not the way to go about this. There's got to be some other way. I mean, you know, some some other more humane way. Of doing things, you know, I mean, um, China, for instance, have, they have a tight hold on population control. Right. You know, I mean, once you've had two kids, you're done, you're done. You know, yeah, I think you automatically have to go in and have a vasectomy or something, mm, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sterilization in the case. Um, so yeah. So I, I think that that would even be more humane than just killing people off. My God. You well, know? you see the problem with that is that people are. In China, if they have a baby that they don't like or something that they feel is not because of whatever reason acceptable, they end up killing that baby mm-hmm. and making it look like her death. Mm-hmm. I've inherited problems with that. So there's there's always problems with control. Yeah, yeah. One of the things uh, that they, I think they're doing for control too is the whole fluoride in the water. Oh, absolutely. You know, we, 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 we did a show, did a show on, that. on that, yeah, and which I found when when we were going through this stuff, I found that absolutely fascinating. It's not just us either. It's you know, the U.S., Canada, oh, sure. Australia, and the U.K. Mm-hmm, every, mm-hmm. They all put fluoride in the water. And for people who don't know, if you ever heard of Xanax or taking Xanax, Xanax is not made from fluoride. Xanax. Is, is fluoride is fluoride it's just that's basically right. pure fluoride mm-hmm. and it's made to calm you and that's why they're putting it in your water not because of your teeth but if everybody's supposed to be calm from all this fluoride how can we see so much outrage on the internet because some of us are smart and drink bottled water <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway um what else do you have on this anything um no uh that's about it really i there was i could have gone i could go on you know you know me. I can find more rabbit holes and more rabbit holes. And- yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, like Ralph said, the reason we brought this up again is because of the fact that you know that, that we're going through a government shutdown right now, and there's a, a mayhem to be had. Uh, and uh, and I think I I'm I'm really curious to see what's going to happen out of this. I mean, I how soon will it be after March first where you're going to start seeing riots in the streets? Right. You know. And just remember, I had dreams about this. Yeah. So yeah. we'll see. Yeah. And, uh, and, and again, you know, I, we always say, you know, question everything. And like I was saying about that, that prison camp that is in Texas that seems totally vacant. It seems nobody ever questions this stuff, you know? So until next time, keep thinking and question everything.